I was in a wheelchair. I was um, atrophying very severely and in, in a lot of pain and decided if there was one book I was going to do it would be The Velveteen Rabbit and I would get something from all the pain to be able to give to other people. So as I was doing The Velveteen Rabbit, um, uh, things just started coming to me and, um, and the phone calls, the emails, um, all the people that responded to the book told me I was going in the right direction and that's when I started the foundation. Um, I also had an experience of, um, I had sent a few cases of the Velveteen Rabbit to a town where they had lost about 20 children due to cancer. Um, and I started healing. I started um, really looking into um, how illness and pain affects you and what you can do to turn things around. <laughs> now it is. When a child has cancer, they say they have a brain tumor here. If they think about something over here that they can put their energy into, it's so much better than putting all their energy into that brain tumor. It's something that's fearful and negative. So a night, I mean, they're battling. But why not put some of the fairness back into the, the battle that they have? Why not um, make it something that's, that's fun? It, it, the, the story that I'm writing about these nights, the next book, is an adventure story. So each one of these kids on the mission is a character in the book. And everything that we're doing on the farm is part of the story. <laughs> these are, are the nights that decide We've had them for a while and they decide that they want to become Knights of the Round Table. So what we do is we knight them in a special ceremony. They get um, a real sword. It's a replica of someone special and they learn all about that person in history. And uh, they take on their knightly name, they choose it themselves. Like this is Sir Stephanie the Strong, she's from New York and her mission is all about faith. This is um, Luke, the lovable collection knight, and his mission is to educate people about recycling, reusing things, because a lot of cancers are caused by, especially brain tumors and leukemia, by, by invent environmental issues. Um, this is Sir Ricky the Relentless, and he is um, all about reflecting on the moment. That's his mission. Uh, this is Michael, our sunshine knight. This is Sir Lexi, Legend of Love. She's working with Sir Jacqueline, Jewel of Inspiration. Um, Lexi is from this area. Jacqueline is from New York. They're working on a, a cookbook for their, their friend, um, Kyle the Cook, who um, passed. And uh, he loved to cook. And they're, they're putting out the first ever kids' cookbook for kids with cancer. Outfits for all the kids. And then... Somebody else made belts. There's a, um, a beautiful medieval tent that one of the, the children's dads made. Um, Sir River's dad um, constructed that. And we had six carpenters that volunteered their time and made all the medieval chairs. They're in rainbow colors. It's getting bad because all the We're painting chairs um, put some for a specific um, nights, which are like kids. And um, each has like an individual aspect to it that pertains to each child. And this, and this is not good because that's going to keep doing it. They have a son and that um, pertains to uh, Michael. Michael. Okay. So, because he's very, right, I'll, he, I'll, he loves sun. Your he puts hands on everything. He's so. a sun guy yeah. oh. And then mine, the front is pretty, but on the back it says SIG, which is a metal water bottle because um, uh, the child that I'm making this for, River, uh, wants, is very environmentalist. So, he, um, he wants everybody to start using metal water bottles. To see these kids who have such a severe illness deal with it with such joy and such hope was really kind of the main thing for me. Um, they just have so much strength. The, the idea is to network the Knights to form a, uh, a fellowship amongst them. So, I mean, they see each other in the hospitals, the clinics, for treatments and there's already a network going, but this gives them something positive to uh, talk about. There's uh, one little boy, Luca, who was from Situate. He was three, and um, the kids, he, in all his pictures, he had his hand up like this. 
And so now the kids, when they come together or they're in a big auditorium, one of them all of a sudden stick their hand up like this and then I'll say, look, it's light. And they all, all the knights immediately put their hands up. We want to be the model for um, places like this across the country. What we're building here is a very environmentally friendly, organic space that people realize, start thinking about what we're putting into our food, our environment that's causing kids to get cancer um, and how we should change.